either travify.com slash support, send us an email at professional at travify.com or chat us in your account. We're happy to help. So if you don't get a question answered or you think of something afterwards, let our team know because we are ready and happy to help there. Um, but now getting into the fun stuff here is um, what we're going to go over today. Uh, so what I always like to do is first, before we get into the actual Travify account, I always just like to do a quick overview of all of Travify's tools because there's so many different things you can do in Travify that unfortunately we will not have time to, to cover everything today. So I always like to start off with that. Um, and then we're going to dive in and we're actually going to create a complete itinerary together. So we're going to do the whole itinerary. You're going to see all of things you can add and tips and tricks along the way. And then also we'll talk about how you share it with your client, what it looks like, um, you know, talking about the mobile apps, stuff like that. And then at the end, we have some bonus material for you. Um, so the first one, we're going to talk about forms. It's just going to be a couple minutes long, but we always like to talk about it because it's a really easy way to get information from your clients. We just want to show you that, how that can work while you're building itineraries. Um, and then the last one is how to market these trips with the landing page builder, which I'm very excited for. So if you joined Scott's webinar last month, you might've seen some of this, but, uh, but I'm going to show you a little bit differently today on how you can make something really, really simple um, with that landing page builder. And then of course we'll have time for Q and A at the end. So that will be everything here today. So it's going to be fun. Do you have something? I'm looking, Scott? I'm, no, I'm just, oh. I'm ready. I'm ready yes! to do this. We're ready Let's get to after do it. this. Oh yeah. Well, first, this is my one of my favorite parts because Travify does so much. As Scott mentioned at the beginning, we're coming back to our sweet spot today of itineraries and proposals, but there's so much more that we've added on. And I always like to start off with this because if you're new to Travify or you've been using Travify and you just haven't really dabbled in some of the other tools, this is amazing because all of these that you see here on your screen is part of your subscription. So there's no additional fee to use any of these. So of course we have, you know, itineraries and proposals, which the itinerary side will really talk about mostly today. Um, proposals, I'll touch on that as well. But then we also built on um, what we like to call our simple CRM. And that's what you'll see in your account is contacts. And it's really just an easy, simple way to keep client contact information in one place. It, you know, you can put things like um, the forms they fill out in there, trips you share with them, if you want to save documents for them, um, you know, any information, it can go right in there. And then there's also forms, which works you know, with the simple CRM tool as well, um, because you can create a form for anything. Um, if you need like a new traveler inquiry form, credit card authorization, we have that as well. Um, you'll, but you'll get to see that here today um, as well. But forms are amazing, um, you know, giving that easy way to collect everything. And then of course the website builder. So we call it the website builder, but there's also the ability you can create landing pages, which we'll talk about um, at the very end today as well. But again, all of these are part of that Travify tool, um, you know, your software. So there's a lot in there as you can see, but okay, now we begin. So it that. begins. Whew. All right, everybody. Oh, and if anybody's wondering, I have my Dr. Pepper, my water, I'm ready to go. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> Do it, I'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side, sweet, okay. All right. So um, one of the things, if you've never seen Travify before, um, this is what it looks like. So when you first log into your account, you know, you'll be able to see all of your trips that you're working on. Um, one thing I always like to point out as well is your profile. So when you first sign up, you will be prompted to fill out your profile. It's really important because this is where your branding comes from. So you'll be able to put, you know, your logo, contact information, all of that stuff. And this is going to customize everything from, you know, your itineraries, proposals, forms, um, you know, all that stuff, it'll go in there, your website. So important to do all of that. This is the simple setup up there. Um, but now I'm going to go back to my trips page here. And I want to create a new trip because again, we are going to start from scratch. Now, one thing that I do want to note is the 
the itinerary that I'm building today is actually going to be an all-inclusive trip. Um, it's going to be like just a pretend uh, trip that I'm building for pretend clients to Los Cabos. But I do want to mention that um, it's just an example. Even if you don't do all-inclusives or FITs, um, you know, cruises, you can do all of those things in here. And we have a video created for all those different options. So if you want to explore more, like if you really focus on cruises and you want to get a really good feel for how you can create a cruise itinerary. We have videos for that, but hopefully this will still show you everything you can do. So it'll still be an easy way, but just keep that in mind that even though I'm doing all inclusive, you can do this for anything, um, which is great. Or even just a tour too. So now I'm going to create a new trip here and what you're going to do simple, you know, you just click this new trip button and you can choose itinerary or proposal. Now, to just explain the difference really quickly, um, honestly, whichever one you pick, I'm going to pick itinerary because it is an itinerary. Um, but if you choose itinerary proposal in the builder, it actually looks the same. The builder will be the exact same. The difference is how your clients view it. So you can see this trip, this Hawaii vacation is a proposal. And if I just preview it really quick, you'll see here that up at the top, the client has the option to approve it, where if this was an itinerary, they'd have the option to um, get an, get the app or download the PDF of it. So that's the biggest difference. The other thing that's great about this is if you choose one and you meant to choose the other, not a big deal at all, um, because you can just click on that trip and then change the type from proposal to itinerary. So I never like to put too much emphasis on like, oh, you got to choose this one because you can always switch them back and forth, which is great. But now I'm going to choose that itinerary because this is a finalized trip. We're, we're booking it now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that here. And now I have a blank new trip here. Um, so to start off with the most basic things, um, I want to change the cover photo and I want to give it a title and pick the date really simple things. So what I'm going to do to change or give it a title and then choose the trip start date, I'm just going to go in the settings here. And this is where you'll find all the settings for this particular trip. And I'm just going to type in uh, Smith family vacation. I'm going to choose the date um, in here. Whoops. Let me do that. I clicked out of there. And then I'm going to choose the date of um, January 5th. Um, and if you don't have a date set yet, you can leave that blank. So you don't have to pick a date. And then you'll see in here, you can do lots of different things, add pricing if it was a proposal, description, lots of stuff you can do in there. But this is all that I need for this moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and say save changes. One other thing I'm going to do, this dog is lovely. However, it does not reflect the trip that I actually am sending this person on. So I'm going to click on this change cover photo button. And this is really cool because we have thousands of free stock photos that you can grab. So you can just search through our database. Like I'm going to just type in, um, well, for example, if you put like beach or something, um, you're, you're going to get tons of different photos. Um, I can also narrow it down a little more. So I want to say Los Cabos. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this photo. Now, if you had your own photo, you can certainly, you know, choose that as well um, in there too. So I could choose that if I wanted, you know, upload. And I just want to see, hold on one second. Let me search for this again. Oops, that is not how you spell Los Cabos. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to select this image right here. There we go. Save changes. And there. Simple as that. Now we have a photo that reflects where our clients are actually going to. So really easy stuff. But now for the really fun part of actually adding all the information to this trip. And here's where it gets really cool because Travify has a ton of different ways that you can quickly bring in information, look it up or add it manually. You have all those options available to you. And the most basic thing to know is just make sure you're always in the day that you want to add information. So if I wanted to add something on this day, I could add a new day, click into there, and then you just click new event and then choose what type of event it is you want to add and then add information that way. So for an example, to show you how this can work is the first thing I want to do is add a flight to this trip. So I'm going to go ahead and choose flight. So I'm going to select flight. Now, one thing that's really cool is Travify is a database of flight information that you can actually just type in 
and look up these flights. So it's really simple. So it doesn't have to be booked or booked or anything. You know, you don't have to, you could push in a booking confirmation or that, you know, GDS, if you need to put flight record locator in there. Um, but I'm this, honestly, this is the way I like to do it because it's so easy just to type this in. And then you can just confirm, you know, is this the flight you're looking for? And then say, add to itinerary and there. It's so easy. And then the greatest part about this is this is now tracking. I cannot tell you how many users have been saying that this has come in so much handy for them and their clients because we all under, we know, you know, flights have been insane lately. And so what's really nice is this automatic flight update that's happening in their itinerary and they get notified as well. See, I already see someone like, love that feature. It's so awesome because you'll get notified, your client gets notified. And there's been many times where I've heard they get notified before the airline tells them or the airport. It's happened to me multiple times, actually. And so that's what's really cool. It's updating the gate, the times. Um, you'll also be able to follow along in here and see, um, oh, this, you know, this, this got delayed. Um, and then what it does is it's checking an update every few days. If it is within 24 hours, it's going to be a constant update. Um, but you can see here that my next update for this particular flight will come on the October 13th. So it's important to notice that like if you know there's a change, but you don't see it yet, it's probably just that we haven't updated it yet. Um, so you can see that in there. And then you also just want to make sure that little green check mark is there. And that means we're tracking it. Um, so amazing feature there for you and your clients. Uh, the other thing I want to notice just or note on about flights is that if there's any additional information you need to include like seat assignments, um, really easily you can add it. Just click on the pencil icon and you can come in here and you can add like the seat number if you need or confirmation, any notes. It's up to you. You know, you can add whatever you need. And that's what's great about this is this will pull in the information, but you can add more. Um, so that's what's really nice about that. So now that we've added um, that flight, now we want to add the second most important thing, which is where are they staying? Um, so we want to go ahead and add a resort in this um, in this itinerary. So I'm going to do that by, again, I'm in the day that they check in. So then I'm going to click new event here, and then I am going to choose lodging. So from here, Another cool thing is Travify has a database of places and it's just coming from Google places. So as you, as I start typing in this place, you're going to notice that Travify is trying to locate it for me. So see how I type it and this one right here is actually what I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and select it. And now I'll automatically get, um, you know, information about this place, the website, the address, the name, um, the, a photo, all of that automatically will come in there. And then I also can choose a check out date. Um, so then that way, this will actually add that check out event in here automatically. So I don't have to go in and do that. It already will add it for me. So you can see in here, all of this information just comes in right away. Um, so then one thing you can do is you can always edit this information. So if you need to remove out like the website or something like that, you can do that, um, which is great. But then one thing I like to do and show um, other users is adding more information like photos and notes to places, especially a resort, because you really want to just get them excited for this place and sell it if it's a quota proposal. So how to do this is really easy. All you do is go into edit it by clicking this pencil icon here. And now you can see I have all these different form fields that I can fill out, all this stuff. So a couple things that I want to add is I'm just going to copy and paste um, a little blurb from the supplier website about this place. So just a high level. Um, but this is a great area where if you want to put in any of your information, you can definitely do that. So this is a great opportunity to show your own experience or your expertise, you know, and say, I love this place. You have to check this out. Um, you're going to love it. Things like that. Or you can also attach links in here, um, different formatting options. You can do as much as you want. Um, another thing that people really love is the ability to insert tables. Um, so this can be really handy if you need to organize information like different room um, categories, assignments, or if this is a quota proposal and you want to put different pricing options. Um, it's really cool. The tables is really nice to put that and use that in this note section. 
Um, the other thing you can do is, of course, if you need to put like confirmation, um, check-in times, things like that, you can do that in there. But now to one of my favorite things is the ability to add photos and videos to any event in Travify. Now, the one event that we always are like, you really should do this is adding in, in that accommodation. So it's really easy to do. All you want to do is click in this multimedia section right here. Now you can see I have those free stock photos from Travify again. So if you want to pull in photos, you can. If you have your own photos, you can uh, put those in there. But then a couple of things you can do too is you can actually pull from the website. So this is super cool. This is kind of one of those game changer features where I can drop in the link for this hotel or this resort. And then Travify is going to go out and try to scrape photos that it can find from that site. And then it'll add them all here. So I can go ahead and pick and choose up to five photos in here. So I'm just going to pick a few here. Um, let's just say we want, uh, sorry, there's so many good ones. It's hard to pick. Okay. So I'm going to pick um, a couple of these. So I'll just say, um, let's do, I'm going to pick four. So we'll pick four here because the other thing I want to do is add a video. So the video is also one of my favorite things because to add a video, just click on the video option in the, right in here. And then what you can do is you can go out onto YouTube or Vimeo and drop the link. So I have a, a YouTube link that I found earlier for this specific hotel. And a lot of these places will have them available. So these are really great, easy to get because a lot of the, um, again, the resorts, they, they'll they probably have videos online. Um, if it's a destination um, organization, tourism board, they will have those videos. And it's a really easy way just to showcase these videos, bring them in and bring this itinerary to life, um, which is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. And there we have our photos. Now I'm actually going to drag and drop this video to the front because when my client's looking at this, I want them to see that video. So you'll get to see it here at the end too. You'll see the way that it looks for them. So there you have it. You know, I just quickly just dropped in a blurb about the place and some a video and some photos. Pretty good. And look at how much, how wonderful this looks. Really easy to do. But now one thing that I want to tell you about that is another complete game changer, and I know if there's current Travify users on here can attest to this, that one of the biggest time savers that you will find in Travify is the library. Now you can see that I created this manually. I, I put in, um, you know, this, I searched for this hotel, I added information, but what if, you know, I want to save this so I don't have to recreate this in the future? Well, you can do that with the library. Now, the library is on the right-hand side of my screen here, and you can see as I scroll through. So if you don't have anything in your library yet, you won't see anything. So this is completely customized to either your account or your team, um, you know, having that library. But if I want to save this that I just created to my library, simple. All you do is go in like you're editing it, scroll down to the bottom, and then right by the done editing button, there's this other little button there that you can actually just click save to library, and then it will save it for you. And you can also add a label to it for quick lookup in the future, um, but really simple to do. And then whenever I'm creating a proposal or an itinerary in the future, all I have to do is search for it and then drag and drop it in when I want to use it. That simple. So that is huge. I'm actually going to use the library here in, a, in just a little bit um, because it is the, a really big game changer. Um, and yeah, so definitely ask us questions if you have any more about the library because happy to come back to that um, at the end because there's so much you can do with it, which is awesome. Um, but now the next thing that I want to walk through is I also want to walk through adding a tour together because a lot of times you might be manually having to add like a dinner reservation or a tour excursion, things like that. And it's really easy to do. Um, I'm just going to go into this day here and add it into Saturday. And I'm going to add this one manually so you can see how I do it. So I'm just going to click this new event button right here. And then I am going to choose activity. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the title here. So I am just going to do like a private catamaran charter. And then I'm going to put in the notes here. And again, I just pulled this from a supplier as well, uh, too. So then that way I can just drag and drop that right in there. 
And then what you can do is you can also add, you know, like the confirmation. Um, you can also attach documents. So if you have like a voucher or something that you want to add, you can put that in here. And in that mobile app that your clients use, they'll be able to pull that up. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I do it for my own trips. It's like the greatest thing. And then what I'm going to do is I also want to add photos because why not add photos? Because it's so easy and really just pops this to life. So I'm just going to click get images. I went again, I went to the website and I'm just pulling photos. So you can see here, pretty cool. Look at those beautiful photos. Just go ahead, save those in there. Um, I also could put things like, since this is a tour, I'm going to put in like the price or the time. And if it's not booked yet, you can put the price. Um, Another pro tip, actually, um, speaking of booking and stuff, something that I've seen users do is if this isn't booked yet and you just want to put it in there as an option for them, but you have um, like a referral link that you want that they would use and they can book it on their own. But if they use, if they book it through that link, you get a commission from it. You can actually add that link in here. So you could say like book here and then go ahead and just highlight it and insert a link. So I'm just gonna put like travify.com there. And then I can also do things like bold it and make it just look more like a button. And you can do that. That is one of those things I know people are like, what? I never thought of that. So really cool pro tip there for you that if you wanna just throw some options in there and they can book it on their own, you can do that. So really awesome. But that's it, simple. Um, I wanna add though one more tour because I wanna pull it from my libraries just so you can see the library in action here. So I'm gonna go into the Sunday and let's say that my client has booked um, an Oceanside mas massage. So I'm just gonna start typing in this. Now you can see it's populating here, um, but then I can go ahead and I can just go ahead and drag and drop it over. And you can see everything come in here. So if I needed to, I could edit any of this information and it won't edit what's saved in my library. So that's a great thing. And then you also can, in the library, you can also label all of your items. So if you just need to look things up. So like if I wanted to look up things that are in Cabo, um, you know, I could search for that, that label and then start adding some things in here. So lots of different ways that you can do that um, in there. And it just really helps it keep organized too. So one more thing that I want to add here is I also wanna show you how you can add destination content to any itinerary or proposal you create. Um, and it's really awesome. It's one of the coolest features. I know I say that about like every one of them, but again, this is, in, this is one of my top, top 10 features, I would say, cause I have a lot of them, um, but I'm gonna add this. There's a special section up at the top of every trip and it's called the information document section. Now you don't have to use it. If you don't use this section, it just doesn't even display for your clients. But this is a really good area where you can add things like trip insurance or anything else. I've seen agents where they'll put like a little note from themselves, like here, you know, like wanna thank you so much. I hope you have a great time. Um, whatever you wanna put in there. But it's also a great area to, to put destination content in. So to access our destination content, we call them city guides. And they live over here on the right-hand side of my screen where my library is. And you can click city guides. Now from here, I can go ahead and type in the name of a, of a city. Now we have over like 625 destinations worldwide that you can choose from. So I'm gonna choose Cabo from here. So you can see as I start typing this, um, here it is right here, it starts to populate. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag and drop this entire guide in. Now, while it's loading, I wanna explain what's happening here. It is adding all of these sections. So you can see all these sections that come in now, you don't have to have all these sections. You can pick and choose. Um, you can also customize and edit these. So if there's something that you don't want or you want to remove out, you can do that. All of this is customizable um, in there. But it's just such a cool way to just add so much information about a destination in here. So really awesome there. And if there's ever a time that you want to create your own city guide, you can do that as well. Um, and it's really easy. You can just add a new item. And then there's always a subcategory of city guide. And you can just build your own. And then, of course, you know, save that to your library to reuse again. But it's really cool. So those are really great. Um, I know a lot of users who use them. They love them and their clients really love them as well. Um, just great option, especially for those quotes and proposals as well. So 
really, I just thought that's amazing. Um, so that's really my itinerary. So that was all that I wanted to add to the itinerary, but I do want to walk through, you know, the different ways that you can add things. Cause of course we didn't add like a cruise or tours and there's many different ways you can add information. So I just want to go through those really quick. Um, so if you ever want to add like a cruise, for example, all you're going to do is click the new event button, choose cruise. And here is one of the best parts is that you just look it up and we will add all of the information in here for you. So what you'll do is you'll just choose first, what is that cruise line? Um, and we'll have all the major ocean and river cruise lines in here. And then what you'll do is then you choose a cruise ship and we are finding it based on that departing date as well. So you can go ahead and click any of these and you can see here, here's this Bahamas. And if this is one you're looking for, you just click get itinerary and then you can just add this to your itinerary. And it's actually going to add all the ports of call into each day for you. And it'll give you like deck plans and um, information about the ship. It's really cool really amazing there. Um, easy way to add those cruises. Uh, we also have a tour database as well. Um, so if you click on the new event and you choose tour, um, these are going to be uh, some suppliers in here. These are going to be like your group package tours um, that you're going to find in here, but you can see there's lots of different ones available in here. Um, and then all you do is again, you just select, you know, what tour is it? Um, and then it needs to be departing on that day as well. And then it'll do something similar to what the cruise line does where it just adds all the days for you and adds the information for each day. So really helpful as you can see. Um, and then the last thing that I want to touch on is we also, or we also have um, a booking import, which we call that. So there are uh, a lot of suppliers that we work with directly. Now, the difference with this versus, you know, the database of like the cruises and the tours, this we're actually working directly with the supplier, which means for you that you can come in and let's say Expedia tapped, for example, you can come in, sign into your account. You just have to do this once. And then all you have to do is start putting in your booking or reservation information. And then we pull it from them and drop it into your itinerary for you. So that is really cool. I know that is one of the biggest game changers there. Um, and I actually have, I want to go ahead. There's, cause there's so many um, that we work with so many different uh, providers um, that are working with us in that. So I dropped in an FAQ and apologies, I think it went in there twice possibly, um, is that that's where you can find a list of all of them. I mean, again, there's thousands because there's lots of them in there um, that you can find all those different ways. And then of course, we also work with third-party providers like different CRMs, um, things like that. So definitely check it out um, and let us know if you have any questions on those as well. Now, the next part that I want to talk about is actually sharing this with your clients. When you're done, um, you can share it a couple different ways. Uh, you can just click the send button right in the top right hand corner here. You could get a trip link. Uh, so very simple. You can get that link. You can also just email it directly through Travify. Um, and the email, if they reply back to that email, it'll just go uh, to you. So it'll go to your email account. Um, so really easy way to do that. But if you ever just want to preview it as well, you can just click this preview button at the top here. And then you can actually go ahead and just grab this link at the top because it's the same link. And then you can share that with your client. And this is what they'll see. You know, they can view this on any device, mobile, tablet, computer. It always resizes to fit the screen. Um, and you can see here, I told you we would see this. So I, I promised you this. So look at this video. See how it stays in this one screen. So it's not going to take them out. It keeps them here. And then they all, and then you can also like flip through those photos. Um, I, it's so cool, you know, having all this information. Here's that little book here button we created. Um, you can also chat with your clients in this screen as well. So if you want to, you know, chat, if they have questions or um, you want to say like, let me know if you have questions, you know, you can use that little chat in there. It's amazing. And so then the different ways that they can view it is obviously this way. They can view it, you know, with, from this URL link. Um, if they want to download a PDF, they could download a PDF copy on their end. 
Um, but I do like to note that you can download the PDF on your end and you have more options when doing so. So you can see up at the top here, um, there's that PDF option and you're going to have a lot more options because you can uncheck or check boxes. Um, so for example, let's say you do add attachments, you can check the box that you want to make sure that all those attachments print out with it as well. Otherwise, automatically we won't have that chosen. Same thing with city guides. City guides can get really lengthy. So if you want to uncheck that box, you don't have to print that out. So it's up to you. Um, so that's what's really nice. So I always like to point that out um, that you will have more options than your client does when printing out that PDF. Um, they'll just have the option to print out the whole entire itinerary of what they're seeing. Um, now, the other option, though, is that they can get the mobile app. The mobile app is for many people, the game changer to their business, um, where this, a lot of people will, they literally promote it and will say, I have an app that you can use. And that's this app. Um, it's really easy for your clients to use this. Um, all they do is they just tap on this app button at the top and they will need to be in their on their mobile device. So then once they're in their phone, it'll either take them to the app store or um, you know iOS store or the Google Play store. Um, and then they'll download what's called the trip plans app. Now you can see this app is unbranded because uh, we just want your brand to be front and center. So that's why it's just called trip plans. Um, but this link actually right here, I'm going to share this in the chat as well. You can actually take this link and share it with your clients and say, here's the steps you need to take to get this on your phone. It's really easy, but you know, it's just nice having, we made a video for it. Actually, Scott made it shout out to Scott on this uh, trip plans app video, you know, that you can just easily share with your clients and then they can easily just go ahead and um, see, okay, this is why I should download it. And then when they download that app, um, they'll also be able to view it offline. They can toggle the option. They'll get, of course, those automatic flight updates. They can access uh, documents that you've attached, all that good stuff. But now the other side to the mobile app is you also have a mobile app that you get to use, and that's called the Travify Pro app. So if you have not downloaded that yet, go to your app store or Google Play store and just search Travify Pro, and you'll be able to sign in with your Travify credentials, and you'll be able to see all the trips that your client or that you've planned for your clients um, on there, and you can view it on the go. And so that's the difference. Trip plans is for the client because you have to be sent a trip to view it on trip plans, where the the Travify Pro app is, you'll see all of them in your account. Um, so it's really awesome, but it's really great. You know, again, keeping communication with your clients, if you want to use that, the flight updates, and obviously just seeing things, you know, on the go. So really a great there. But now I want to do move on to our little bonus sections of this webinar um, is that, so two things. So First, I want to talk about forms really quick because when you're setting up itineraries, there's a lot of information you obviously need to get from your client beforehand. And forms is a really great way to get that. So what you can do in forms, and again, this is built into your Travify account already. So you can just use it in here. And forms is actually going to live in your library. So when you're in your account, you just want to go to the library, click new library item, and then at the bottom, there's an option for form. And then this is all you do. You know, it's really simple. Um, I'm just going to say example, um, you know, we'll say example form. And then you can just add questions. Um, really simple. We also have templates. So if you just want to pull from a template, you can do that, which I'm going to do just for the sake of time here, just to show you. Um, but you can see all of these questions. You can remove them, edit them. But it's really simple because all you do is you basically just type in your question and then just uh, choose, you know, what type of response are you looking for? Do you need a multiple choice? Is this an address? There's that credit card authorization, um, you know, those different options in there. You can also add additional text as well. Um, so it's really easy. You know, if I want to say, I want to add another question here and maybe it's, um, is there anything else I need to know? Or, you know, anything like that. And I can also choose like, this is not required. So I can just choose it that way, but really extremely simple. Um, and then all you do to share this with your clients is just click the share button at the top and you can either get a link. So if you want to get a link to share it with them, or if you want to email it directly through Travify, either way works. Um, and you can see here, I'll show you what this looks like. If we preview it, you can see what it looks like in a phone format. So if they're 
uh, answering this on their phone or desktop as well. So you can see what that looks like in here too. But now when they fill out a form, um, what's going to happen is that you're going to get an email letting you know that they've filled it out. And then you'll be able to come in here and look at your responses. And then you can look at what your responses are, and then you can assign them to contacts. So then that way you keep them organized uh, with their contact. You can also export their information, you know, things like that. So really easy and simple to use, which is why it's awesome. So great in there. But now the other thing, the other little bonus content that I wanted to share was when you build these itineraries, if you ever want to build an itinerary to market, um, like take, for example, what we just created, this Los Cabos trip. You know, I don't have an, a lot of information in there. I just have like good information. I have the resort and some excursions and maybe that's all you need to promote something. So that's why I created something here to show you. So to access your website builder or landing page builder, you go to website right here. You click on your name in the top right hand corner and click website. And if it's your first time coming into this builder, you're gonna see the different themes that you can choose from because we do have different themes. But here's the best part is you're not committed to it. So you can switch them back and forth. So if you just wanna pick a theme, you can. Um, and then you can change it as you're creating it. But again, you can use this as your full website builder, um, but you don't have to because you have the option to create pages. Um, so you can create an limited amount of pages in here. And um, to do this, you know, you could create a page just for one trip. Um, you know, maybe I'm trying to promote this Los Cabos trip. You know, I, I went to this resort. I really want to sell this place. Um, so I created something that only took me literally like 15 minutes to do, um, very simple to do. And I added, what I did is I just added some basic info in here, um, you know, about the resort. I threw in some pictures from the resort and I just pulled them from their website. Um, and then I had, you know, a little bit about the excursions. And then at the bottom, I put a call to action, uh, putting in a form. So there's a form that I created in Travify um, that you saw we just did. And then I attached it to this button. So so when they are interested, they can fill out that form. I get notified and you have yourself a new client. It's really simple. And actually, I want to share this with you. So here's what this looks like. And I'm going to, I'm going to throw this in so you can see it for yourself. Uh, this, this thing, this builder, I literally just created today, um, where all I did is again, I, you know, added a really nice photo and added explore Los Cabos. I put in that resort. Um, and I actually went a little above and beyond here where you don't need to have like, you know, a photo gallery carousel, but it's so easy to do. I was like, why not? You know, I'll throw that in. And then I just put some information about an excursion. And then at the bottom, um, and again, you don't have to put like pricing info, but I did just to show you what that could look like. And then when you click get started, it just opens that form that I created. So easy. It's really cool. And the other cool thing about this is you can do way more. You can add in um, a, a sample itinerary so you can actually import trips that you've created in your Travify account on here. So they can click a button and then view the trip. Um, you know, you can do all that, but it's, it's really easy to do because um, I know I didn't have a ton of time to walk you through exactly all of this, but it's really just a drag and drop tool where you're just choosing elements and then you're dragging and dropping them in an order you want and then just cut customizing it. It's that simple. And if you have like another one, like if you have another resort you're working with uh, for Cancun, I could copy this and then create a version of this for Cancun or something really simple. Um, and again, we have um, tons of video at our support center, travify.com slash support, where you can come in here, um, you know, join a webinar about it. Um, but we have videos on demand that you can check out on how to create those landing pages, websites, all of that good stuff in there, but tons of great stuff. Okay. With all this being said, here is, uh, so now I am ready for questions. I try to make sure that I kept good amount of time at the end here. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to look through some of these. Um, let's see. Oh, here, let me look at the Q and a here. Oh, it looks like Scott's been doing a lot of the questions. So he's made my life very easy. <laughs> I, and I just threw some questions to you in oh, our cool. Slack, okay. Slack message. So oh, cool. Okay. Take a look at that. 
Sweet. Okay. So first one here from Jennifer is, can you share more on automated trip feedback requests? It's a really cool new feature. Yes. So um, automate. So I don't think I have it in here because I'm not... Oh, I do have it. Okay. So, um, yeah, so this is really, this is pretty new. So basically what this is, is feedback requests, um, is after the trip completes. So after your client, so after January 9th on here, 2023, um, this client will actually receive an email asking them to rate their trip and give a review and it's, and then it goes to you. So then you can, you know, have those reviews, get that feedback from them. Um, and it's just as automatically turned on. Um, but you can see when I click in here that I can choose to turn that off if I wanted. Um, so if you're doing a trip and you don't want them to have that, you can always turn it off if you want to, but it's really nice because it's automated, which is helpful. Um, and then Michelle here asks, can you talk about teams? What is the cost? Yes. And I'll actually talk about like trials and cost as well too, because I didn't do that. Um, so with teams, so you obviously can have, you know, your own Travify account, but if you have a team, um, what you can do is you can add them, um, you know, in here, let me go into my team here. So you can actually add team members into your account. And what this is, is this gives you the ability. So everyone will have their own login information, their own account. Um, but then this way you will be sharing the library. You'll be able to collaborate on trips together. Um, so you can see what everyone's working on. So it's really helpful. And I know the library is one of the biggest parts of that is that sharing that library is really huge. Um, but basically for a team, um, every team member is a subscription, but you started, you start to get a discounted price. So when it comes to pricing with Travify, um, it's, and again, you get all of the features that you saw today and even ones we didn't talk about. Um, and it's either $39 a month or you save 20% annually. Um, and it makes it $31 a month. And basically when you add, um, you know, another team member, you will automatically receive a discount on them. So if you have, um, up to four people, it'll be 15%. Once you hit five, it goes up to 20% per person. Um, you know, it just grows. So you get a discount, those team discounts which is really great. And you can also go just to Travify.com and start a free trial. Um, so you won't have to put like a card in or anything. You just can have access to everything and try it out. And then you can choose, you know, if you want to subscribe. Um, Pi uh, Piper said, are we able to revise an itinerary after it has been sent? Yes. And this is one of the coolest parts is that you also can totally come in here. You know, if you've sent this to your client already, you can come in here and completely edit anything you want. And once they refresh their screen or open it back up, they'll see that update. Now, one thing um, that I do recommend doing is if you do make any changes and they already know, or maybe they're on their trip, um, use the discussion area or the chat in your app just to say, hey, check out, I, I added this thing there. You know, I, I went ahead and added this to your trip because if there is a chance that they're on their trip and they're not connected to Wi-Fi or using data, they won't get that update until they do connect to Wi-Fi. So that's why I was just like to mention that to make sure they do see that. Uh, Bridget asked, should I always make the itinerary available offline? Uh, will this allow my client to see all aspects of their trip without Wi-Fi? Um, so uh, yes and no to that question because they have to do it themselves. So when you do it on your side, that's not actually putting it, setting it up for offline mode on their end. It's just doing it for your phone. So what they do, and it's really easy. Um, so I would recommend when you, when you talk to your clients to tell them like, Hey, make sure you toggle offline. So you can see it right up here at the top, just toggle that offline mode on. And then that way it'll download all the information on their phone. So that way when they are offline um, or not on Wi-Fi, they can still open it up and view it. So really, really good thing that maybe just mention that to your clients. Um, Irene asked, will the Travify Pro app for or work for proposal as well? That's a great question. So that is one of the differences with if you create a proposal and share that with your client, um, you actually, they can't, they don't have the option to view it on their app. Um, so it will need to be an itinerary for them to view it on the app. But if you're in the Travify Pro app, which is your app, then you can see it because it's just for the client. The client can't view it in the app unless it's set up as an itinerary. So if you ever accidentally have it set up as a proposal, again, just go ahead and just change the type to itinerary and then they'll see the option to get that on their app. Uh, Michelle said, can you brief or can you briefly cover labeling and organize your library? Yes, absolutely. So 
for the library, um, in the library, it can get big. So in here is where you're actually going to organize. So you saw when I was in the trip builder, I can edit things on the right hand or I can pull things in from the right hand side, but I can't actually edit what's in my library unless I go directly into it from my main dashboard. So in here, this is where you'll be able to, like, if you need to remove anything, delete, clean up, edit. Um, but you also can see on the left-hand side here that I have my uh, labels. So you can add labels, you know, you can add them as you're going through things, items. So you can see I can add a label. I can see what I've already added, or if I want to add new ones, you know, I can create new ones in here. Um, really easy to do. And labels are great because, um, again, it's going to keep it really organized, but it's going to help you find what you're looking for, basically. Um, and one pro tip to labels is I would definitely, before you start adding labels, think about how you want to organize your library. Because one thing that you don't want to do is add too many labels to something. Like if you add like uh, Los Cabos Resort, Barcelo Grand, like you don't want to add those labels. You really just want to narrow it down to like Mexico, Los Cabos Resort. And then, then you use your labels as a way to pick, to get or narrow down what you're looking for, basically. So hope that makes sense there, but if not, let me know. Uh, Chrissy said, can a form capture credit card data securely? It can. So we are PCI compliant. Um, so it is very safe and secure. And to use credit card authorization, you actually need to make sure you have two-factor authentication turned on in your account. So you do have to have that turned on because that is part of it of being a safe and secure, but it's really easy to do. You just go into your account and um, in your account settings, turn it on. But once that's turned on, you'll have the option to um, add the credit card option in your form. So anytime you're creating a new form, you'll then see the option here for whoops, credit card or er, card authorization. Um, now, if you don't see that option, that means your two-factor authentication is not turned on. So once it is, you'll see it. And then all you do is you just can type in, you know, like whatever you, however you want to ask it, like um, what is your card or what is your payment information or whatever it might be. You also can make sure that you collect the CVV. So um, you can do this without collecting it or you have to toggle on yes if you do. Um, and then when you send it, it's very simple. Um, now, when you do send it to a client, you won't be able to get a link because again, safe and secure, we won't be able to just give you a link. You'll have to email it directly to them. And then you can just break down, you know, what is this description for this authorization? What is the authorization amount? what is the deadline and again safe and secure you you it's really great knowing that your information is not just going to sit in your account forever it will actually disappear after a while so you know it's kind of wipe your hands clean you don't have it anymore so you can decide you know when that deadline is and then once they fill it out you'll receive an email and they will as well with a pdf copy of um you know the time and the date when they signed it and the last four digits of the card they added and then when you need to actually get that card information, um, you'll just go into your contacts and then um, you'll be able to click into the profile for them and see their form. And here's one that I had, um, you can see down here, this the deadline is actually passed for this one, but if it hadn't, I'd be able to click on this option to open the card um, information. It just opens a new window with all of the card um, info in it. So it's really easy. That's a great thing. I love it because it's easy and it's, safe. So that is the best part of that. Um, Linda said, what if you already have your own website? Is there any way to link the forms to your website? There is. So again, you know, with the forms, you can just share a link as long as it doesn't have like credit card authorization or e-signature, you'll be able to share that link. Um, just go ahead and click, you know, the share button and then just get that link right in here. And then you can just, you know, copy and paste it into uh, your website. Or like I've seen people do it like on Facebook pages or social media, you know, wherever you want to put it, you can put it there. Um, and then Debbie asks, how do you share the landing page you just created? Um, so to do that, you'll be able to see the link for your landing page. Um, if you go into website over here, when you go into your uh, setting here, let me go back to the one I was working on here. Um, over in my settings over here on the right-hand side, um, you can see that link right here. So I can just click that little link button to copy it. Um, and then that's all you do. 
Now, one thing that I didn't talk about is the domain. Um, so you can know, you might've noticed that my domain is travelistastravel.com. Um, and that's because I domain masked this. So if you haven't domain masked this, it would be travify.com slash website slash just kind of like numbers and letters. So you can still create it without having a domain. But if you do own a domain, you can set up your domain um, masking in your Travify account for free. Um, so it's really awesome. It's, it's really easy to do, but we also also have training available. So um, we completely understand, you know, people aren't messing with that kind of stuff often. So if you need any help, just let our team know and we can set up time with you to get that set up. But it it's very easy to do and it's free to set it up in there. Um, Alicia asked, can you talk quickly on groups and how to manage large groups and new task list feature? Yes, absolutely. So um, for groups, so there's a couple different ways you can deal with groups. Um, one way is you can create uh, basically like a trip template itinerary um, that has all the information that everyone would have and you can copy it. So you can always copy it and that way you can make it like uh, for each family or individual or couple or something. Um, but the other option you have is you could create one trip and you can add everybody to it and tag them in stuff they're part of. Um, so a good example is like flights. A lot of times they might be have they might be on different flights. So where what you can do is you can create one trip that has all the flights in there and then tag them in what they're part of. So how this works is up at the top there's a more button, and you can click people, and you can either upload from a spreadsheet. Um, you know, a lot easy way to do it, or you can add them one by one right here. And then once you add them, you'll be able to go into any event in your itinerary. And then there's an option down here where it says people. And then you can select, you know, that person. So I just put myself in there because you you will automatically pop up. And so now when you send this trip to everybody at one time, they're going to see what's personalized to them. So they're going to see what they're tagged in and then what everybody's tagged in. Um, or when there, there's no such thing, you don't have to tag everybody in an event. It just automatically will show them. So it makes it really easy. It's really nice in that. And then for the tasks that you were asking about, um, so the task feature is really brand new and I don't think it's even out for everybody quite yet, um, but it will be coming out here for everyone in the next uh, week or two, um, very soon. And what's really cool about this is this is very simple. You can access your tasks up here or um, like in your contacts, you can also access those. You can add tasks in here for a contact. Um, so a good example is you could say like um, share proposal, and then you can give a date. Um, like I need to make sure I send this to them then. Um, and then once you're done with it, you can check it off. Um, so it's really, it's really simple. It's why I like it a lot. And, um, and you can add any tasks you need in there. So any type of thing, um, you can easily do that. But wow, that was perfect timing. Um, it looks like we came right up on the hour. It was so perfect. Nice work. Yes, I did it. You can see Some, I'm like someone uh, <laughs> literally did ask how many Dr. Peppers did Stephanie have no, today? It's one and it's a little one and it's not even empty. I'm just hyped up on this sharing everything with you guys. You're high on Travify. <laughs> Damn, you know? that's what it is. It's high on Travify. Gets you every time. <laughs> She's I love a drug it. dealer. She deals Travify. Yes, I. yep, that's exactly what it is. I'm just, you know, sending them all out. And if anybody needs access to any more of this Travify drug and high, you know where to find hit? us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know where to find us. Travify.com find us there. <laughs> but no, this, this one great though. And hopefully, and again, for real though, do go to travify.com if you haven't created an account and you can do a free trial. You have 10 days, you can, you know, schedule a demo with us. So that's another thing too, is I've been talking about the support center, but for real, go there and schedule a training or a demo, watch one of our weekly webinars. You know, there's so much in there that you can consume and that can help you. So definitely let us know, you know, if there's something you're not finding and we can help you. And one final note, uh, yes. there, there were a lot of questions we did not get to. And so I, I firstly apologize if we couldn't get to all of your questions in the hour. So the two things, one, uh, feel free to head over to our Facebook group uh, where you, and I'll post the Facebook group link in the chat here. So click on that, be sure to join that. That gets you the latest updates from Travify, um, updates on new features. You can connect with other users, ask questions back and forth. There are a lot of 
expert, expert level uh, users, even on the webinar today, um, that you can learn from, um, but also you can you can reach out to others with questions. Um, but then also, if you have a really specific question or need support, do feel free to uh, reach out with the live chat inside your account uh, in Travify to reach out to our support team or email professional at travify.com. Um, and as always, you can check out our support center. That's just with the help button in the top right corner of your Travify account uh, or go to travify.com slash support. Lots of really great uh, resources that you can jump into there. Yeah, absolutely. And thanks again. And, and again, if you want to watch this again, join me this evening. Uh, I won't have, it'll be too late for Dr. Pepper. So we'll see what that's like. Uh, it might be <laughs> Vino time. Is it Vino <gasps> time? I didn't even think about that. Oh my gosh. It's like a happy hour webinar. I love this. It's going to be the do best more of webinar. This. It's going to be the ever best done. one. My best performance yet. <laughs> so, but check, be back for that if you would like to. But otherwise, thank you so much again. And I do want to throw out one last thing. Pay attention to your emails next week because we have something big happening at the end of this month. Big, That's all I'm gonna say huge. It's really, really big. Yes, it's humongous. So definitely watch for your emails. And that's all I have to say. So exciting. All right. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you, Scott, for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And great job. Well, thanks. And uh, and everyone enjoy it the rest of your day. And we're almost at the weekend, so have a good weekend as well. Yep. Yeah. See you, everyone. See ya.